All right, lads. Welcome back to another episode of Eleanor does whatever she likes and then makes a video about it. Today, I'm going to build a house in The Sims 4. That's right, and you are going to watch it. As you can see, I have a nice little box here to start off with. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I am a very average builder. If you're here to be impressed, then you've come to the wrong place. If you want to see me make a box and struggle to make it look like a house, then congratulations! You're about to see it. Now, I know what you're thinking. What was that sound just now? Well, it's actually a party horn. I know it doesn't sound like a party horn, but it is. The internet told me it was. I actually have another really good party horn sound effect. You want to hear that one? Hold on. Yeah, it's good, right? That one was for Greg. We recently had a release of one of my all-time favorite expansion packs, Cottage Living. I've been excited about this since it got announced, so I'm really excited to build. Uh, the first thing I'm trying to do is a small, run-down little cottage. So the idea that I have in my head is that your sim has inherited an old house from a relative, which is awesome, and possibly me just projecting my dreams onto a video game. However, this house has seen better days. It's very run down and it needs a whole lot of TLC. Anyway, I kind of wanted to make this like a higgledy piggledy hodgy podgy type of house. I think that every Brit grew up with that one ant whose house was a entire tripping hazard. You know the one. So that's kind of the vibe that I'm trying to hit here. Also, these beams are the bane of my life. I wish there was some way that you could just draw them on, kind of like with the fence tool. So this is the part where I was genuinely trying to find the most ugly wallpaper that I could find. Something in a nice shade of brown with some dirt along the bottom. You may be wondering, Eleanor, why? Why can't you use the nice new wallpapers? And th that's the problem, they're too nice for what I'm going for. What I'm going for is ugly old house that someone's grandma probably decorated many, many decades ago. I also kind of got the feeling that floorboards would be too nice for this place. I feel like with this generation, they just like to put horrible carpet over the top of those beautiful hardwood floors. I imagine whoever's going to move in is probably going to rip that horrible carpet up, but it's going down for now. Okay, I honestly think that I was pretty cursed with this roof. I don't know what was happening, but it just seemed to completely bug out and not really work properly. I mean, I'm kind of clumsy with roofs, so you're probably watching this going, yeah, this is just you being an idiot, but I did actually run into some problems. So when I put the top bit of the roof on, it then disappeared, which I've never had that happen before. And then I got kind of confused and put it on again. And then I had a double roof. And you know, I, I, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> so I ended up having to delete a roof. And then I, look, I can't see with the roof that I put down, it's gone. <laughs> So I had to put a third floor on to be able to see the roof, and I've never had that actually happen before. Maybe it's normal and I'm just an idiot. This cottage living pack is very Brittany, <laughs> which obviously I'm gonna love. It's like an ambiguous countryside kind of thing, so really it could be anywhere. It could be north, it could be south, it could be Scotland, it could be Wales. Although, there are considerably less chavs in Hennefer upon Bagley. Also, as far as I can tell, nobody is pissed in the phone box. I'm really, really happy with the gameplay so far. Usually I get bored of the gameplay like a week in, but to be honest, I don't think I've had time to be bored. You barely even get a chance to let your sims rest. They have to milk the cow, they have to clean the cow, and then your chickens are running away, and then your plants are wilting, and the foxes come, and it's just non-stop. And now they've got a couple of kids, and I, 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 really, I really can't keep up, man. Right, so, regarding this cottage living pack, I'm gonna be honest, the first time that I opened it up, I was immediately disappointed. I know I said I love the pack, but as soon as I open that map, don't get me wrong, the world is stunning. But there's so much empty space, I was so disappointed. This is one of my pet peeves with expansion packs, with all the worlds in The Sims 4. It's that there's just all this open space, like give us some lots. I really wanted to pick the biggest lot, 
in my world, but I wanted to keep the big lot that was already there already there. And there's only one, so I had to go on this medium-sized lot, and it's the only empty one. I want to build! I want to build more houses! I want to build a house for Agnes Crumplebottom, and I can't because there's no spaces, and I don't like demolishing houses, so I'm, I'm not sure what to do there. Yeah, that's a massive pet peeve of mine, is that they always have these gorgeous worlds and just no space. No empty lots. Give me some empty lots. I want to make a weather spoons. Actually, making weather spoons might be really, really fun. Are you guys still here? Like, this is just me struggling to pick a wallpaper for the outside of my house. Do I pick these bricks or these bricks? Find out later. <laughs> Yeah, it's really frustrating watching yourself play. You're like, come on! Hurry up! What's taking so long? Oh, you've settled on a nice yellow. Good job, Eleanor. So yeah, I really want to make a weather spoons because I think that would just be really funny. And I also love making restaurants in this game. I'm going to have to demolish somewhere in the town and just make a weather spoons because it's, it's not England without one, you know? I want to put some ugly carpet down and a load of pictures on the walls of absolutely nothing. And I want to have crummy food that is just kind of average. And the toilets can be like up the stairs, down the stairs, down the hallway, underground. <laughs> I can't wait, it's going to be great. Another thing that I want to make is some crazy llama girl's house. I really want to make a tiny home. Um, yeah, like a tiny little quaint house. And then a bunch of llamas in the back and I want to have one of every colour and she's going to be crazy cross-stitch girl and maybe knitting as well and she's going to sell it all in the town on her little market table like a crazy person because we all love a good crazy person. It's always nice to be able to relate to someone you know. Okay can you see that? Can you see that on the roof there? That's not right that's not how it's supposed to look. I also had a problem with the back. Can you see there's a little chunks taken out of it? I just, I, roofs have always been beyond me, to be honest. I kind of miss when we had the option for auto roof. Those were good times. By the way, how cute is this little stained glass window thing? They've got like butterflies and bees and a fox. It's so cute. And I was like, shall I put it here? Or shall I put it here? Shall I put it up here? And oh, don't even get me started on these things. I could not get these to work. So in England, a lot of us have a conservatory on the back of our building, which is kind of like, I want to say it's kind of like a greenhouse. Is it like a greenhouse? Not really. It's just like a room with a bunch of windows and we put the dining table in there and go, ooh, should we have dinner in the conservatory? Uh, so yeah, I made one of those and I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, my, I think my aunt used to have one that was full of plants and it was red hot in there and it, it was kind of broken down <laughs> and the glass was basically plastic. Oh yeah, they're, they're real nice, real classy things. Made this nice little patio as well. I think it's turning out pretty cute. And fairly soon I'm going to start ruining it with cracks and cobwebs and all that fun stuff. It was actually quite a nice change of pace to... Did I say change of paste? <laughs> okay, we'll try that again. It's actually quite a nice change of pace to try and find all of the worst things in the catalogue and be like, Oh, oh I, I'll use that. I was really close to using that horrible city living stuff for the kitchen. I really wanted to, but then I thought, ah, you know what, I'll give them one step up and use this nice... What, what was this pack called again? This stuff pack? Oh, I don't remember. Country doodad. I, I really don't know. So I decided to use that instead, and this horrible oven and the horrible fridge. I, I think it came out pretty nice. This was probably about the part when I realised that I was decorating it to take all the furniture out to redecorate it. And I don't know if many people play this game this way, I don't know if it's the way it was intended to be played, but hey, I do what I want. I've been playing a lot of House Flipper, and I could really spend my time cleaning my own house and redecorating that, but nah, I'd much rather do it on a video game. It's way more fun that way. So yeah, this is kind of like House Flipper Sims kind of thing. I just kind of like to watch myself back because I know what I'm thinking. I'm like, ooh, 
That one's horrible. I'll take it. I'd also really like to take the opportunity to talk about how much I love the addition of kits. That's going to be a controversial opinion, I know, but like, come on. Look how cute this kitchen is. I know it's pretty crummy, but I, I really love it. I really like the concept of having these small packs where you can buy it if you're interested in it, but you don't have to. It's just extra stuff, you know? I think people kind of get this opinion that you have to own everything in The Sims, and you really don't. Like, if they bring out a kit that I don't like, I, I just won't buy it. Didn't buy Star Wars, didn't want it. But yeah, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I bought all the kits because I wanted them all. <laughs> but you don't need them for the game, they're not vital, they don't add that much, really. I do think that we need to downgrade some of these stuff packs, though, because... I mean, thinking that a paranormal pack and luxury party are the same kind of pack and the same price is kind of ridiculous. They should be downgraded to kits, let's be honest. Like, the fact that you have to spend $10 to get the My First Pet Stuff pack, uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, if it was $5, I might consider it, but then again, I don't know. Not that fussed about hamsters, really. <laughs> Ooh, you know what would get me to buy that pack? Birds. I really hope that they add some more pet stuff in kits, if that makes sense. Like, if they had a bird expansion, I would totally buy that. I want a parrot or a cockatiel or something that you can teach to talk. I'm sure you used to be able to do that in Sims 2, I think. Am I right? Someone tell me if I'm right. I'm also really hoping that they have a horse kit. Or a horse stuff pack. Or whatever. Where you can add a stable and some horses that you can ride around town like a bike. I think people would be really into that. Me, on the other hand, couldn't give a toss. I don't like horses. They have soulless eyes and they scare me. So yeah, if people want horses, they can get them. I'm just gonna skip on that one, but yeah, get EA, hire me. You know what animal I would like? Sheep. I would love to do, like, lambs. Feeding the baby lambs. Oh, so cute. Pigs? Um, I don't think so. I mean... What can you do with pigs? You can't get anything from them, except for maybe truffles, which is kind of a stretch. The thing that you get from pigs is bacon, and I, I'm i not going to get some pigs so that I can send them off to the slaughterhouse, you know? So pigs, maybe if you could get like a pet pig that could come in your house? That's probably a bad idea as well. I don't know. I, I'm going for lambs. Lambs and horses. Give us lambs and horses. I did notice a few people were really surprised that they added a llama. A, a lot of people were like, well, why not a sheep? Or, well, we'd rather have horses than llamas. Llamas is such a weird thing to add. Especially when there's alpacas as well. Why not put alpacas in instead of llamas? I don't get it. And to those people, I say, have you never played The Sims before? The Sims team is obsessed with llamas. This game is full of llamas. How can you be surprised that they put llamas in it? Okay, I get that I'm just talking about whatever I want to talk about instead of actually talking about the build. But... So I decided to make this small room a little utility room kind of thing. Put some laundry day stuff in there, a broom on the wall. I decided not to do the dust thing because God knows these this poor family has enough to do. Uh, laundry pack is actually probably my favorite stuff pack. <laughs> Who knew that laundry could be so fun? Okay, this is going to sound weird, and I acknowledge that it's going to sound weird, but I'm going to say it anyway. Does anyone else have some kind of fear of animals in clothes? <laughs> I googled it, and it seems like nobody else does, but it makes me really uncomfortable. If it's like a, a scarf or a hat or something, I'm kind of okay with it, but seeing them in like waistcoats and stuff, like a, a shirt or something, oh no, the ugh. I hate it. Like, the idea of putting a little dress or a waistcoat on my rabbits and chickens, no. It makes me feel physically sick. This has got to be a thing, right? It's not just me. It's not just me. I mean, when I found out that it's not just me with the button phobia thing, yeah, it, it, it's not just me, guys. There are literally dozens of us. This pack actually comes with some really nice stuff. 
like the cast stuff is really nice and also the build and buy stuff is also really nice and for this build specifically it was too nice like you see that you see that couch it's horrible i love it it's perfect but honestly guys like how often do you get to use these horrible curtains never but when you make a horrible old lady house you can use them so i'm quite enjoying that change of pace to be honest this is me just breaking the chimney, don't mind me. How far have we actually got? Not even finished one floor, cool. <sighs> How long can I even talk for? That's a good question, we'll find out. So this is one of those parts where watching it back, it's actually quite painful. It's like I looked at every single bookcase and sized them up and then sized them down and I was like, maybe this one? Nah, maybe this one? No. Like, look, this is like every bookshelf. Just pick one, see? That's great, perfect, make it brown, nice. Also then I was like, that chessboard is no good. <laughs> Let's get a different chessboard. <sighs> yeah, he, but watching myself play is painful. I'm like, come on. How come everyone else could make these wonderful speed builds where they just know exactly what they're doing and then I'm just, <laughs> it's like I get stage fright. I put OBS on and I just can't function anymore. There's also some packs that seem to go really, really nicely with this one, and one of those is the Paranormal pack. Some of the furniture looks so good with some of the country stuff. Oh, <laughs> I also put that little, like, bedside table there, and I kind of put it there by accident at first, and then I was like, you know what? It stays. <laughs> it looks like something that someone would do if they just didn't know what to put there, and I didn't know what to put there, so I put a bedside table. Oh no. So here's another struggle, me trying to put a dining table, and I <laughs> I put this like a little round one in, and I was like, that's nice, but it needs to be a little bit bigger. So I, I just sized it up, and then I was like, <laughs> who's gonna sit there? The giants. I, I don't know why that's entertaining to me, probably not to anyone else. But yeah, I made this a nice little dining room area where I'm sure that there were some wonderful family occasions. A Thanksgiving dinner there or Christmas but that those days are long gone according to this house so I'll be totally honest with you I just went and took a nap and I've just woke up so I'm a little sleepy but I think I had must have had a vision or something so if we go back to that whole horse idea I don't remember how long ago I was talking about that but if we go back to that then I have a condition where I could buy it if it includes donkeys and or unicorns yeah I said EA should hire me donkeys and unicorns or donkey corns I don't know that would be a way to get my money this is why I started like dirtying up the house I am NOT a big fan of the vampire stuff pack vampire whatever game pack uh, just because I don't really like vampires, just not that into it. But I'm glad that I bought it because I get all this cool stuff like peeled wallpaper and cracks. And <laughs> why, how is this my favorite part of the pack? I do not know. But yeah, I, I love this and I really went ham on the cobwebs. Some might say a little too ham, but I don't think so. So when I'm building in The Sims, I usually put all these little tiny lights in that completely light up the building because it just really helps. Oh my goodness, what happened to my frames? Thanks OBS. You, you tried, you tried, but we could be doing better right now. Anyway, I then have to go through and take them all out and sometimes I lose where they are and the whole room is just lit up and I'm just like, why did I put so many? But I wanted this place to be gloomy, so I I put some nice horrible lights in. I put some nice sconces and a nice little light bulb dangling down and some candles. And then what I like to do is take a sim in there and change the lighting settings. So I make it a little more yellow and a little dimmer and it gives us this nice cozy look. Um, has OBS sorted itself out yet? Okay, we'll just we'll just skip ahead a bit. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. 
I'm just decorating the upstairs bit. Um, as usual, this lovely shade of peachy brown. I really love that stripy wallpaper, it's just horrible. Okay, this room here is going to be the master bedroom, but it's the floor level is so high up that it is a really short ceiling, which is causing a few problems, but <laughs> that, that's just the character of the house, I like to think. It's also got this uh, little nook type thing off to the side. Uh, I did think about putting a bathroom in there, but I ended up just putting a desk. I put lots of fences and pillars and beams in the landing area, just so you have a nice um, hazard of hitting your head on one of those beams. I remember once when I was a kid, right? We had to climb this spire. And on the way down, I was very, very scared of going down the stairs. So one of the leaders, I think I was in rainbows, so it was one of the rainbow leaders, she carried me downstairs, right? And then right at the bottom, she walked through the archway and whacked my head on it. <laughs> and I got to take Rainbow Rabbit home that week because I was such a strong, brave girl. <laughs> so this room, I kind of decided it would be like an attic type room and maybe it used to be a bedroom but they just kind of throw all their rubbish in there now there's some chests and some boxes and this actually was quite fun to just fill up with crap so if you're an avid sims player like me then you will know that the sims 4 is actually kind of lacking especially when it first came out there were a lot of things that it just didn't have and one of those things is a pond tool and they've finally given us a pond tool and we're all like oh it's amazing we love it thank you but like this we should have had this ages ago it's been years and we've not been able to make ponds um but yeah i i do love the pond tool it's not that i'm not grateful i just feel like it, it should have been ages ago you know uh anyway i made a cute little pond out front with a a little bridge so that's fun you know what else we didn't have in The Sims 4 that I, I keep forgetting about this? We didn't have toddlers. They just went from baby to child. Isn't that crazy? Uh, don't get me wrong, I love toddlers in The Sims 4. They're so freaking cute. But to, to not have them in the game at all? I mean, who was working on this game? <laughs> Yeah, recently I do feel like we're getting a lot more of the things that we actually want in the game. I feel like the Sims team is actually listening to us and the things that we want to see, which is really nice. I wish it had been earlier, but, you know, we're getting them. We're getting there. Some of the items that they've given for decorating in this new pack are so cute. I just, I really love all this stuff to put on the walls. Uh, I kind of went a, a little overboard maybe, but I wanted it to look kind of overgrown. Another thing that I noticed is that when you go inside this house, some of the foliage actually pokes through, which usually, I mean, you could say that I'm being lazy here, but usually I would move things around so that that doesn't happen, but I kind of liked it. I kind of liked that there was things poking through the walls. It just really gave that um, aged not looked after kind of look. Can you see those roof things? Th that really, really bothered me. I ended up just removing all of those because having a big textureless void on the top of your house is just, it's not the really the look that I was going for. So you see these uh, fences and walls and things? I actually got these from debug mode. I decided not to include that in the video because me scrolling through debug mode is just not very entertaining to be honest. I get a bit lost, I get a bit overwhelmed, but there's some good stuff in there. So yeah, the house is kind of drawing to a close now. I'm just kind of adding some finishing touches. It was really fun to build. I, I did have a lot of fun with this. I'm gonna move a family in and slowly redecorate it. That's my plan anyway. Um, I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to make money with their animals on the farm, but they're going to slowly renovate the house and fix it up. Um, I'll, I was going to include it in this video, but it's so long, so <laughs> I might just make another video, to be honest. I was kind of wondering what the weather was going to be like in this pack, um, because it's, it's based on England, so would we get England weather? 
It turns out that yes, <laughs> I didn't need to worry. It is exactly like England. Look how cozy and comfy this is. I just, I love it so much. So yeah, there's the finished product. Um, I did a lot of landscaping here, <laughs> maybe a bit overboard. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and I'm really excited to redecorate this. If you want to redecorate it yourself, then it is on my uh, origin library, so I'll put my origin username up here. I would love to see what other people do with this. Um, yeah, it was really fun and I love the new pack and I can't really recommend it enough. It's I've been having a really, really good time with it. So I'll probably make another video with what I did with this house. And I guess that I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.